At this point, we know how to get the query string data in the component file. But let's understand how to pass or set the query string in the HTML tag. Here you can see again we are using the same example. Now let's say on click of this login button, I want to pass the query string over here. Now let's try to understand how to pass this name query string from this app component file. Here we are on this app component. And you can see we are having this anchor tag for the login link. Now, if you want to pass the query string, you have to use the square bracket. And here you have to write query params. Q U E R Y P A R A M S. That's it. Now just put an equal symbol, use the double quotes. And over here, inside one single object, you can pass your n number of queries. For example, here I'm passing name. And the name is basically then it is. If you want to write the hard code value then you can use the single quote again if you want to get its value from your component file then you can use the property in your ts file and you can use that property over here let's save all the changes just go to the browser this time let's click on this login button and you can see we are passing one query over here and the same value is also displayed on this login dot html template now let's say i want to pass two query string at this place so i can simply put a comma then use the second query so here i'm writing email and i want to get this email from this component file so here let's create one new property that is the email and email is basically this sample at the rate gmail.com copy this email go back to this html file and here let's use that email save the changes and this time let's click again on this login link you can see we are passing two query string here in the URL and here on the console screen you can also see that both of them are visible. This is how you can pass your multiple query strings in the HTML tag.